What does October have in store for us, saints? In this prophetic word, I'm going to share with you what the Lord has revealed and spoken to Diana Larkin regarding the month of October. Now, yes, we are still in September. It is September 7th, 2024, as of this recording. Whew. And this prophetic word, thank you, Lord, is dated October, excuse me, is dated August 25th, 2024. This prophetic word is entitled October Ruckus. <laughs> That's quite a funny word there, isn't it? Now, the Lord spoke this to Diana Larkin, and we're going to jump right in. So hopefully you are ready, you're open, you're ready to receive. Just posture yourself with an open heart. I'm feeling the presence of the Lord just starting to come down on my head as I'm speaking this. And saints, go ahead and hit the like for me, and make sure you check out Diana Larkin's blog and so forth her social media information is down below for your convenience in case you haven't yet subscribed and are not yet following her please do so okay let's get into this word father lord jesus holy spirit thank you for the word we're about to hear from your throne lord i thank you for your presence lord i release your presence to your people lord i thank you for your anointing it's yours father I thank you for your presence. It's yours, Father. I thank you for the joy, for the peace, for the love, for the grace. It all comes from you, Lord. You are our source. You are our exceedingly great reward. There is none greater than you. But we do thank you, Father, for how you touch us, how you meet our needs, how you give us our wants, and even the desires of our hearts. Lord, I thank you for entrusting us in commissioning us with not only gifts, but with things to manage and to steward for your glory, O Lord. May your people be good stewards. May they learn your ways and your principles, and may they abide by them, by your grace, Lord. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Well, I've been feeling quite different today, spiritually speaking. I don't know if it's because I sat still to meditate earlier, and then I did that just last night before bed. Uh, but it's been a while since I had done. I have done that, just being so busy. I'm not making an excuse, of course, but I'm just being honest and transparent with you all. Um, but you know what? It took me a little bit longer to get into the spirit, which I didn't like in terms of the whole meditate meditation, but. Nonetheless, let's get started. Uh, I know that there's a beautiful presence and a beautiful peace on me right now, and that's going to be translated and transmitted to you all as you listen. All right. So this prophetic word, once again, entitled October Ruckus. It begins with this, the definition. Ruckus, a noisy fight or disturbance, a commotion in which many people are angry or upset. This is the prophetic word, saints. There will be a buildup of events in September that will lead to an October ruckus. Those partnered with me will become more unified in their fight to restore light. Ooh, thank you, Lord. And justice. Let me read that again, saints. Those partnered with me will become more unified in their fight to restore light and justice to your land. Those serving darkness will continue their slide into chaos as desperate and abrupt moves are made to try and save their power positions and to stop the exposures of their evil. It will become more and more obvious that they are focused on trying to preserve their personal dynasties that will disprove their high-minded public statements about being for the people and for democracy. The infighting and reckless moves to preserve power will result in an October ruckus breaking out among those who have been lied to, abused, and used by power-hungry, corrupt leaders. There will be an October ruckus in newsrooms as it begins to dawn on them that they were convinced to compromise their integrity 
for a bogus cause. Bitter pills will be taken in October, and the result will be an October ruckus. <laughs> this will be devastating to the darkness, as that unseen, powerful magnet, held by my hand, says God, pulls them to the precipice of destruction. They will feel the panic, the fear, and sheer terror that they wanted you to experience. As they tried to unload all their death agendas against you. Here is how I'd like you to partner with me. Sow more chaos and confusion into the enemy's camp. Wow. Sow division and self-preservation into their mists. Call forth the build-up to the October ruckus. Declare that many more blind eyes will be opened to the lies and the treachery from corrupt leaders. Declare that the army of light will become more focused, more unified around truth, justice, and righteousness. Pray that the bitter pills of truth and exposure coming out in the next few months would result in many turning to the light, finding their anchor in me, and joining the ranks of the army of light. Watch for it and call it in the October ruckus. Now, Diana has written here at the bottom with a little bit of artistic design. She wrote, Raisin a Ruckus. <laughs> and it sure seems like the Lord is emphasizing this term because we've read it like, I wasn't keeping track, but five to six times in this entire word. All right. Now, the Lord has given us a few things to call in. And so I want to do that together with you real briefly. Here's the first one. The Lord says, sow more chaos in confusion into the enemy's camp. All right. So I'm going to declare it and I want you to speak it out loud wherever you are. Okay. Because there's power in our voice. We need to send forth the vibrations and the frequencies that God has given us in our voice, coupled with the faith and boldness of the Holy Spirit through us, and we will speak it forth, and the angels of God will take care of sending it out, bringing it before the Lord, okay? And if you would mind, maybe we should type these in the comments as well, all right? So let's begin with the first one, which is to sow more chaos and confusion into the enemy's camp, okay? Very simple, simple, let's not complicate it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I sow more chaos in confusion into the enemy's camp now. That's simple, saints. I just declared it from a personal perspective. Go ahead and put that in the comments for yourself. Type in, I sow more chaos in confusion into the enemy's camp in Jesus' name. All right, let's go to the next one. The Lord says, sow division and self-preservation into their midst. All right, I'm going to speak it. Go ahead and speak it and type it as, as well if you can. In Jesus' name, I sow division and self-preservation into the mist of the enemy's camp. In Jesus' name. Now the Lord tells us, call forth the buildup of the October ruckus. Saints, I, I feel led to do this as a, um, not from a personal perspective, but including us all in the, in the, by using the word we instead of I. I just thought that as I was reading this, so I'm going to speak it forth like this. Lord God, we call forth the buildup of the October ruckus in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Go ahead and type that in the comments also. All right. The Lord gave us several, so let's just keep going. The Lord says, declare that many more blind eyes will be open to the lies and treachery from corrupt leaders. Praise the Lord. I'm happy to do that. Lord, in Jesus' name, I declare that many more blind eyes and many more blind eyes will be opened to the lies and the treachery from corrupt 
leaders. Saints, the Lord now says, declare that the army of light will become more focused and more unified around truth, justice, and righteousness. That should be easy. Any true son of God, okay, we're talking spiritual here. We're not talking about male, female. We're talking spiritual. Any true son in God, so in the spiritual, that's sons and daughters, would want this. All right? So we speak it forth. Lord, I declare that the army of light, we shall become more focused, more unified around truth, around justice, and righteousness in Jesus' name. Now the Lord says, pray that the bitter pills of truth and exposure coming out in the next few months would result in many turning to the light, finding their anchor in Christ, and joining the ranks of the army of light. <laughs> All right, well, let's see how that's going to come out. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I speak forth that the bitter pills of truth and exposure that are coming out in the coming months, according to your words, O God, will result in many turning to the light. And for exposure coming out in the next... Yes, and for the exposure to also lead to many turning to the light. May they find their anchor in you, Christ Jesus. And may they join us, the ranks of the army of light. We call it in once more, Lord. Let the October ruckus begin. Praise the Lord. All right, saints. That was a little bit different, but that was really good. This is the word that the Lord spoke to Diana Larkin just as we were exiting the month of August. All right. Now, there are several more prophetic words I was looking over through today from Diana Larkin uh, because I was playing catch up. <laughs> and there are like three more that really spoke to me in addition. So I will be releasing those in the coming whew, in the coming week <clears throat> or so. And so I want you to stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. All right. Now, tonight, for those of you who are diligent and who just love praying in tongues. Tonight's Praying in Tongues video, oh, thank you, Lord, on my second channel. The link is in the description. Some of you still comment and ask, what is your channel name? I cannot make it any, any easier. Please click the link in the description, all right? So look under the video. It'll start giving a bit of a description. Tap the More button or tap a down arrow, depending on your device. Sometimes you have to tap it twice. And it'll open up all the description where you can see links, different social media. You can see uh, where I sh uh, share with you to go visit the Prophet's website, etc., etc., etc. Right there, you will find the link to my second YouTube channel, which is a Praying in Tongues channel. And so click on there tonight at 9.11 p.m. Eastern Time. I will re be releasing a one-hour version of Praying in Tongues against hear me saints praying in tongues against school shooting attempts now hear me clearly today is september 7th all right when uh when we had the georgia shooting just a couple, couple days ago i believe it was september 4th if i'm not mistaken it was very he heavy on my heart and the lord had me record this video that's premiering tonight, he had me record it that night, all right? Unfortunately, there was another school shooting in Maryland, I think just yesterday, and another child was taken and transitioned. These things are serious. There is a reason the Lord quickened me before we entered into September to create videos for praying for the teachers in tongues, praying for school children in tongues. I'm following the leading of the Holy Spirit. So please, if these things hurt your heart when you hear about it, how about you take a step of faith beforehand and you do your part and pray for the children, all right? Despite what may or may not happen afterwards, at least you will have peace knowing you did your part 
you gave time to the Lord and you prayed and interceded for the children. Now, there is good news because the September 4th shooting in Georgia, though there was there were two children involved from what I heard, if, if I'm mistaken, feel free to, you know, um, correct me in the comments in a loving way, of course, <laughs> respectful way. There was one student, unfortunately, who didn't make it, um, who was one of the gunmen. The other one surrendered. Um, but still 14 years old. And then his dad was charged with second-degree murder and, and all this other mess, uh, which is a whole thing because the enemy is attacking the families and, and people's decisions, the way they treat the children and all this. It's just a big old mess. But there is good news because after that first school shooting in Georgia, apparently there was a lot of, and I'm going to go back to what I shared on my Telegram today, there was a lot of, other threats that were made by other students there around Georgia. And it is said that the, um, the authorities took those threats seriously and they went ahead and they went after those students who made threats in various schools all around and they went ahead and arrested them. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, let me read you here the headline. Dozens of Georgia students arrested for threats. It says here, um, and I'm not going to read the whole thing, but just the first, first two sentences. The Appalachian High School shooting has seemingly opened a floodgate of teens making terroristic threats. At least a dozen arrests have taken place at schools across Georgia since Wednesday. So that is a positive thing for those of you who have prayed. We have prayed. I believe the Lord used this and averted other multiple possible attacks that could have happened. So praise the Lord. We rejoice in this. In the midst of everything happening, we've got to rejoice. All right. So please uh, go ahead and watch that video. If um, after this one, if you don't mind, try to Try to pray in tongues a little bit longer than you typically do. Uh, I don't see too many people. Uh, it shows my average time is, you know, seven minutes for people praying in tongues. If it's an hour video, it's an average of 18 minutes. Try to stretch yourself. Try, you got to stretch. You want to grow. You got to stretch. All right. So that's that one thing I want to share. And then lastly, if you would like a cool new way that the Lord showed me to be able to uh, save some money and earn some free gift cards, the Lord has shown me two cool apps that are totally free now you have to be in the united states to use them but feel free to look down in the description again if you want to uh, get the app that helps you to earn free gift cards all right today we showed my mom how to do it my wife is doing it i'm doing it we shared it with a couple of people of course there's always going to be people that are pessimistic like oh that doesn't work oh that's not worth the time you know what with all due respect there's no negativity in heaven and god's people are not pessimistic and they're not like that now i'm not trying to put you down if you seem to doubt or whatever i'm just letting you know what the lord has shown me and i'm just doing my part as being a good steward to what god has brought to me to share with others and so it's up to you all right but let us not complain about finances here and there when the lord is presenting something that is free hear me again it's no cost let us not be the kind that murmur and complain and whine when the lord is answering all right <laughs> now this is not this is just to help here and there it's not going to be like oh you know uh part-time job amounts of money and so forth but it's something little that you can show yourself a good steward and then you never know the lord could be waiting to see how you steward something so small to give you bigger opportunities so for those who want to know about the gas savings super easy i'm gonna just put the link directly just sign up on your app it's free um, and then it'll uh, I can I put the steps if you want the, the steps directly from me email me about it and I'll send you those steps my email address if you are blessed 555 at gmail.com <laughs> all right and if you want the gift card uh, earning app I'm gonna um, send you that as well but you got to email me for that too all right eventually I'll just make them links so you can just access them on your own but I want to be available to you because the Lord has kind of given this to me to steward so I don't mind you emailing me so I can not only give you the links, but I can help you with the step-by-step -step in case you need help. And it's pretty easy, but I'm making myself available so that I can be a good steward before the Lord. All right? Saints, the Lord bless you. Follow Diana Larkin. Like this video. Subscribe to this channel. 
Don't forget my second YouTube channel. Whew, and with everything going, stay in the joy of the Lord, all right? Oh yes, I released a YouTube short that is gonna make you laugh. <laughs> a couple of people have already had some great laughs. Uh, I think Sister Andrea was out there. She said she was la laughing until she had tears. That is exactly what I hoped would happen. So I hope you are blessed. Thank you, Lord, for, for the joy of the Lord. God bless you, saints. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.